Welcome back to Sekiro everyone. As I promised, I made it back to where we need to be. How am I gonna do this? I think I need to kill these two fuckers. Um, but that dude is a problem. Uh, I don't know, cause yeah, there is of course one other one. I'm pointing so you can see past the door as well. Ah, this is gonna be a disaster. Cool. And you're gonna die too. And I think we're Gucci. We should be. Oh, the lightning! Oh, you have lightning attacks. Oh, come on. Okay, that's a Mikiri thing. And I don't remember, like, fighting these things that much. The ones with this weapon. Yeah, how about that? Take that. Oh, man. Am I happy to see this sculptor's idol or what? I felt like I, I, I don't remember this section being this difficult. Should I need... Should Ah, uh, that looks kind of weird. Tone that shit down a little bit. Uh, sort of like that. A little bit of light wouldn't hurt. Yeah. So, yeah, as I was saying, I don't like ever remember dying to this area this much. But apparently, it's not too easy. Pretty much we have no other way forward but across the bridge, which is where I think this is where the carp attack. I knew it. I fucking knew it. it. Scared the shit out of me the first time around. So yeah, we have the carp, the giant carp in the lake. It has some extremely convoluted quest line. Um, which is the name of the game with this game. Uh, they go for the convoluted stuff here in Sekiro, which is not an issue, you know. It's just how it is. And there's a Shichiman warrior or whatever here as well. Oh, come on. Who noticed me? Seriously, boy? Oh, these are the fucking Blitzball players. Yeah, you thought Blitzball was only restricted to Final Fantasy X and X-2? Let me tell you, it's not. This game has Blitzball as well. Waka. Man, that Blitzball was a disappointing thing in Final Fantasy X. I mean, when I was a kid, that's like my specific memory from Final Fantasy X how there was that very specific quest line which you could only do once and you could very easily miss to get the ultimate jack shot oh god you guys are stupid uh, and if you missed it you were like basically screwed for the for the blitzball game uh, how do you get across there? You must probably have to yeah, get up there. And I always screwed it up as a kid. I always screwed up the quest line to get the jack shot. And I could never get the win. And it like, like that thing like cascades, because it's like a key item. Blitzball sucked. And then they like force you to play it to get like Walker's like best overdrives and I, I never I always stuck I always had him like stay with the basic ass like elemental reels or whatever. Why am I talking about Final Fantasy X this much? I have no idea. I guess the game is just on my mind. It is one of my favorites. Like, you know, you guys know that. If you've been around the channel a couple of times, you know I do like me some Final Fantasy X. 
the pinnacle of Sekiro and might be beautiful. I have not been reading the messages and, you know, knowing the Souls community, there's probably some gems in there. I don't know what happens if I jump down here. I'm hoping this is the way forward. I think it might be. The question is, should I fight the Shichiman warrior? I don't know. What do you mean does not open? Oh. Do you have to like knock or something? <laughs> God, there is something here, right? Some other trick. My areas of this memory are not the most solid. I will not deny that. I got noticed there and they immediately lost track of me too. Weird. What up? Yeah, about that. Not the best choice, is it? Okay, you just shot me. Right in the face. Yeah, this is the way you have to go. To the left, or well... To the right if you're... Looking at it from the front. Yeah, you have to get across the tree and then that way. I remember. And then this is where all these motherfuckers are. They're like training. And it's a pretty difficult fight if I remember correctly. There's like a big dude. Shit. It might, I mean, it might just be smarter to go around. Let's just check if you can hang off of these ledges. You cannot. You have to fight them, don't you? Before we go any further. Maybe if I just guide you in sugar, I can like... Very cleverly sneak past. I mean, that Gaijin sugar is some good shit. Nobody's here. Go back to what you were doing. I'm just gonna go past you. We're chill. Nobody's hurting anybody. I'm just gonna hit up this sculptor's idol. And everything is peaceful. Man, that gaijin sugar is good. That's what we want. Let's get the mid-air prosthetic tool. Like, why not? It's pretty much nothing else uh, I want at this point. Oh, fuck. This is the Blitzball champion. Okay, that was... ignore that. Fuck, how do you do... Uh, I... I need to read the tutorial on that. I'm, I'm doing it too early. Okay, this is... maybe this is the tutorial on that. That's how you do it. You just need to be... it's pretty delayed. Hey, nice. Okami leader, whatever. Thanks for the prayer breed, bruh. Prayer beat, bruh. That's not easy to say. Oh, come on, seriously? Hold on, do I have a solution to that? Teleport. It's that Naruto shit. Oh, seriously? Cheating. Unbelievable. I'm trying to peacefully get back to the last commune idol, and that's what I get. 
As I was saying, let's go back. I'm gonna turn in them four prayer beads. I didn't I didn't read what that was. I should probably read that. It has some lore on it. There is no lore on it. Never mind. You have to go into the water, don't you? There is a section, I remember. And the carp is gonna come after us. I thought that said die. <laughs> it's dive. It's like you just you can just straight up choose to die. No worries. What up, teleporting lady? Or it's another lady. It's the same lady. I hate this section. The carp is annoying. Thanks, lady. Secret dialogue. I mean, you can teleport. Like, what's the issue? We'll do that, don't worry about it. Yeah, this section is a bitch, seriously. Uh, you never thought there would be an underwater stealth section in a Souls game, right? Well, you are looking at one. I think, yeah, there's like specifically uh, these like buildings here where you can like, hide from the carp. This is the one. God, this is annoying. The exact same thing as with the snake that is just or to put it more relevantly the dragon god in demon souls in that it's very hard to tell what the hell this thing is looking at and that happens Luckily, I th I'm pretty sure you can just spam the fast swim and just get out of here. I mean, that's what I did the first time around, but I died. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the solution. I don't even remember how I did this. I think it was as chaotic as what I was doing right there. Uh, I had no clue what exactly you're supposed to do. I guess you can stealth this, but still. That's that's not it. Okay, quickly. Hide. Hide from the giant fish. I can't believe that works underwater too. Did they give you a ceramic shard? Which almost makes me think that it's possible to use it. God damn it, this is so jank. Maybe you shouldn't use the quick swim. So, okay, what the dude was doing is it was waiting for it to turn around and go like that way. That way, as 
can't see where I'm pointing that way. The way it's going now. Once it's gone like past you. Nice. Ooh. Just swim slowly. No need to rush anything. That's where we're going next. Cool. And then here you can just go straight through. Nice! And it can get pissed all at once now. That don't even matter. Ah. <sighs> Stressful. Seriously. There better be a sculptor's idol after this. And I think there will be. The Sekiro gods will it. Told you. And again, you can kill that thing, but... I... Don't remember it being worth it that much. Oh yeah, these things. They're like cannibalizing themselves. Or each other, I should say. This is a pretty cool like part of the game lore-wise. Because you have these things, these mist nobles, and they're just kind of fucked up, you know. And this is supposed to be like the holiest place. In Sekiro. Like their version of heaven or something. And the place is just messed up. <clears throat> Gortseed. Naisu. I will take that. I wonder if the old woman is gonna like teleport here or something. She probably will. Knowing her. I like legit don't remember this section. <laughs> Man, it has it been this long since I've played Sekiro? Well, I mean, it's been this long since I've gone to this part of Sekiro, I should say. Cuz you know, I did have that stream where I was playing this playing this game. Uh, but that wasn't getting like jack shit views, so I ended up canceling it. So I guess it has been Oh yeah, there's something with this. The lightning. So I guess it has been this long since I've... Fucking hell, that is annoying. Do that again, do the lightning. Okay, don't do the lightning part again. So I can kill you in the meantime. <laughs> Holy shit. Brutalized. Oh, I know your tricks now. Mikiri your ass. Them Mikiris. They do quite a job, don't they? It's not even gonna be stealth. Yeah, I was gonna say. There's no way he's not gonna see me. What the fuck are you doing? Oh man, I would have so parried that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, th these enemies are hilarious. I don't remember them being quite this jumpy. Okay, you are an idiot. Unbelievable. What was that message talking about? Highest point in Sekiro? I think this is the highest point in Sekiro. Is it the old woman? 
It's Filianor or whatever. Yeah. See, I'm I don't wanna do this shit again, but I'm really curious if you need to like advance her quest line or if she just I don't know. Well I didn't need to advance her quest line I don't know. We have the boss, don't we? The boss which I don't remember how to fight, aside from doing the electricity parrying. Like, how does he know what the hell he has to do here? It's just instinct, isn't it? When have you ever gotten a first-person look in Sekiro, right? I think this is the only place it happens. There's gonna be a bong dragon. Oh, this is an annoying boss too, isn't it? If I remember correctly. First you have those like zombie things. Point being, bong. That is a good design though. Look at those things. <laughs> oh man, their face. It like contrasts so much with their body. Old dragons of the tree. These things are bitches too. They poison you, don't they? This is the only such boss fight in Sekiro like this. Like, I, I've not talked about this, but some boss fights have unique, like, animations to them. Like when... Point being. And this is one of them. Do I wanna... I think the way to go here is... Get one of... Yep. And get on top of the tree? No. What do you have to do? Their HP ain't going down. That's what you have to do, yeah. So you gotta get one to like barely breaking point. Or like breaking point, I should say. And then that's gonna be like the sloosh. Don't worry, because they ain't dealing that much damage. the heal there we go and BAM that is badass I, yeah I, I love these fights that have like the unique movesets the underwater battles are like that too Which there are a couple in this game. Not all of them fun. In fact, I'd say none of them are fun. There's the boy right there. Carrying the murder weapon from Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations Case 5 Which turns out not to be the murder weapon But well, that's besides the point So what's the deal here? You gotta like Bounce around Like an idiot Until that happens And I think that's it
right, I think. We gotta wait for the lightning. But it just sort of happens automatically. That's what I always found weird. Like, there is no actual need to lightning counter here. Even then, uh, when I first fought this boss, it just seemed kind of weird. Oh, you gotta find which tree has the lightning hitting on it. Right? Just go there. Yeah, in terms of like boss strength versus and intimidation factor versus actual difficulty. This guy is up there as being like the most pathetic, I would say. Did I not get him? I didn't get him. Weird. There we go. It's more like it. Is he still not dead? Okay. Slalom. Side to side. What the fuck do you have to do here? Okay. God damn. Like freaking out. I like... Oh, okay. That's like his last... I have no idea what's going on. And he's still not dead, is he? He's dead. He's dead. You just gotta run up. You just gotta sprint up. Stab the boy with the moron blade. He's gonna have a bad time. Sorry, dragon. You're pretty cool. I have no idea what's going on in this boss battle like 90% of the time. Gracious grift of tears. Grift. I said grift. It's gift. Excellente. I'm hoping I've done everything correct for the good ending. I, I think I have. There wasn't like anything... They didn't indicate that we need to do anything else. I mean, cool. Hey guys, I'm just gonna, you know, chill here. We'll, we'll talk later, don't worry. If I screwed up the ending, I'm gonna be so pissed. It's always... I should have checked, you know. Oh shit. <clears throat> I had two battle memories. Not that it really mattered. Nice. I think with that, we have officially reached the end of another Sekiro episode. There, this one was probably a shorter one, but... Um, I feel like quite significant events have happened. And with this, the next episode might actually be the finale. We only have the final boss left to go. Boss is, I should say. Yeah. We will see what happens there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Sekiro here. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch all of you next time. Goodbye.